Hello everyone, welcome to MS App Tip Webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to change Windows Admin Center Web Interface Port in Windows Server 2019. For this demo, we are using the Tease Lab created in VirtualBox. We have two Windows Server 2019 virtual machines. One is our domain controller named WS2K19-DC01 for my local, and the second one is our member server with the host name WS2K19-SRV01. In the last video, we have installed the Windows Admin Center on this member server. At the time of the installation, we have selected the default port 443 for the web interface. Now we want to change the port number of the web interface. There are two ways to do that. First, you can rerun the installer and select repair option to change the port number. Or you can use add and remove programs from control panel to repair the windows admin center and change the port number. In this video, we will run installer package again to change the port. Uh, first, I'm going to close it. Let's close Microsoft Edge web browser and uh, let's open file explorer. As you can see, the setup is already there under downloads directory which we have downloaded in the last video. Now I'm going to double click on the setup to start the installation. Let's click on next. And here we can see we have options to change the features which we have installed. Let's click on change. Here we can see the port number for Windows Admin Center web interface and which is 443 which we have selected in the last video. Now you need to enter the new port number which you want to use. Uh, let me specify 3. So want to assign the port number 4433 to the Windows Admin Center web interface. Now let's click on change and wait for a few seconds to apply the new port number settings to the web interface. The port number has been changed successfully. Uh, let's click on finish to close the window. Uh, let me minimize file explorer and let's again open Microsoft Edge web browser. Let's type the URL HTTPS call it double slash the FUDN of our server which is WS2K19 have an SRV01 dot mileboot local then we need to specify colon and then after we need to specify the port number of which we have assigned. In our case it is going to be 4433. Now let's press enter key. It will ask us to provide the username and password. I'm providing the username and password of our domain administrator. Let's click on OK. We can see we have successfully accessed the Windows Admin Center web interface using the custom port we have changed and which is 4433. And suppose after changing the port number, if you are unable to access Windows Admin Center web interface, then open Services Management Console. And look for the service name Windows Admin Center. And you just need to restart the service. After that, you are able to access Windows Admin Center web interface. That concludes the video on how to change Windows Admin Center web interface port in Windows Server 2019. Thank you all for watching this video.